Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life, happy Sunday, and you guys, Merry Christmas. I got my Christmas cat shirt on, and you're probably wondering, Adam, why in the heck are you saying Merry Christmas? It is July, well, it is July 25th, and so friends, not only is it Christmas in July, but today marks the day where we are only five months away from my favorite, favorite holiday, Christmas. <music> You guys know here on our channel, our Sunday videos are a little bit different. We tend to focus on cooking and health, our keto journey, recipes, that kind of stuff. So today we are combining two things that we love so very much, Christmas and charcuterie boards. And we are making the very first, this is so stupid. We are making the very first ever charcuterie tree board. You guys will see what I did there at the end of the video. We're putting together a summer charcuterie board that is perfect to celebrate Christmas in July. This is so ridiculous. Now we do have a few items at home that we're gonna use for this. However, there are some items that we need. So I'm actually at the grocery store right now. I'm about to go in and do a little shopping for our charcuterie tree board. So let's go inside and shop. Doing our shopping today at Fred Meyer. All right, so I have a few items in here. Uh, I got some red bell peppers, some green leaf lettuce. I got a cucumber. They didn't have any green grapes by themselves, so I got this thing of some green grapes and the red grapes. I found this amazing cheese. It's a cranberry cheese. That sounds perfect for a charcuterie board for Christmas in July. There's definitely one Alaskan item you have to have on a Christmas charcuterie board. That's right, reindeer sausage. Seems fitting, doesn't it? Shopping is done. I think we have everything we need for the charcuterie tree board. Let's head home. Back home from a trip to the store, starting to get things ready for the charcuterie tree board later. And the first thing we're doing is actually roasting garlic. Now I've got to give a huge kudos to Auburn because we bought the giant like two pound bag of garlic bulbs at Costco because they didn't have the already peeled roasted garlic. And she sat here for like the last, I don't know, two hours and peeled all of this garlic. Let me show you. Look and how amazing this is. All of those cloves of garlic topped with butter. We are going to just kind of wrap this up, make it a little envelope of garlicky buttery goodness. And this is gonna go in the oven uh, at 375 for about 45 minutes. Now we're not gonna eat all of that tonight, probably, because it is like two pounds of garlic. Uh, but we are gonna store it in oil and it'll keep for about two weeks. And this is the, I think, third time we've done roasted garlic since Auburn has been here and it is, it's one of those things that you just kind of always want to have in the fridge because it's so freaking good. So this is a lot of garlic. I will check it at 45 minutes, make sure that it's nice and squishy and done, and we'll put it in there longer if we need to, but time to get this in the oven. All right, you guys, I just took the garlic out of the oven and opened up the pouch after uh, 45 minutes at 375. You can see the butter still kind of boiling around the edge. They're looking really good, but they're definitely not done yet. We're looking for a little bit more color change and they're still, they're not quite as soft as we want them to be. So we're gonna put them back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. It is 10 minutes later. Let's take the garlic out and see how it looks now. All right, peeling it back, oh boy. I wish you guys could smell how amazing this is. You can start to see the colors turning a little bit more golden on these. Look at that, you guys. I think we're getting pretty <laughs> I'm so excited. I have tried one myself. I have confirmed with Auburn. These are done. Now they are going to continue to cook a little bit and get softer. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put them back in the oven, but I am just going to close this foil packet back up and turn the oven off. And then just going to let these sit here for, oh, I don't know, an hour or so and just continue to get nice and happy in the butter. All right, we're about to start assembling our charcuterie board. Here are the ingredients that we're going to, well, I don't know that we're gonna use all of these, but we have all of them out. Uh, we'll kind of start building it here on this. This was one of our Shop 49th purchases, uh, my 40th birthday gift, basically to myself. Um, I absolutely love this. One of my favorite purchases ever. It's, it's just beautiful. And we're gonna put this stuff on there. Now, here's what we have, a whole mix of stuff. We have everything from red bell peppers, cucumbers, reindeer sausage, sorry Santa. We've got some Italian dry salami. This is pepperoni, if you guys remember from our travel snacks video, this was like the giant meat sword. Um, we have some cheese that we're actually gonna make some stars out of, but here's the problem. 
the only cookie cutters we have, their stars, are like for Hanukkah cookies. So we're going to use those. Um, we have some rosemary, some green leaf lettuce. These are going to be more like decoration and background. We've got some grapes. We got some olives. We got some more cheese, strawberries, more cheese, and well, more cheese. Now Sherry's actually the one to assemble this and make it look pretty. I'm going to cut up whatever she needs. Uh, we are also going to try one thing with this that I've wanted to try for a while. Some of you may have seen like the charcuterie roses that you make over the edge of a wine glass. Um, I think I saw it on, I don't know, like Instagram or TikTok first. Fascinated. Have always wanted to try it. Gosh darn it. We're going to try to make some, um, some of those roses. I don't know how they're going to turn out. I also don't really know how they fit into a Christmas tree, but we'll figure that out. So let's get assembling. And obviously we also have all of this roasted garlic, which we may incorporate into the charcuterie board and we may just eat. Also, Sherry Beth is home. Sherry Beth, how's work? It's worky. Sherry Christmas. How excited are you for Christmas and July stuff? Yeah, no, I, there are no words. We should put up our tree. Mm. How much do you love my Christmas cat sweat shirt that I'm wearing? <laughs> I do love it. I have one as well. You can see Sherry is covering the charcuterie board with a base of lettuce, and then we will kind of build on top of that. Here's the idea. Sherry just put the, this is that cranberry cheese. Super yummy. As the, it is really good. Kind of as the base, the trunk of the tree. Mm -hmm. Next, the thought is to try to make three of the, like, roses as the next level up. So fingers crossed this actually works. All right, so basically what the videos show is just going around and basically wrapping like this a whole bunch. So there's our first layer and now we're just gonna keep going around and uh, see if this actually works. I'm skeptical, honestly but I'm hopeful. So you can see we switched glasses. Um, the shape with the wine glass was right. It actually had a cool rose shape, but it didn't hold together. And so- I think it was too big. And so I'm like kind of squishing this a little bit more to see if the smaller mouth and the pressed meat <laughs> is better. Mm. Yum. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Look how awesome that is. It's really kind of cool. It's okay. so cool. Yep, that works way better. Yep. Look at that. A bit. And it holds together better. A meat rose. First row is complete. Look how pretty. Sherry? Yeah? Um, what'd you think? Do you like it? I think it's fun. It is fun. Next, we're doing a row of cucumbers. And we're just cutting them into just simple rounds. And maybe Sherry will eat one. <laughs> How is it? Mm, I love cucumbers. This cucumber is actually from Bell's Nursery. If you've watched our vlogs where we buy like our hanging baskets and our flowers, Sherry and I go to that nursery in town. This is it. Uh, they sell cucumbers. They also sell like tomatoes they grow there. And the stuff they have is normally really good. Sherry's putting the next layer down. We have the cucumbers going in there. Strawberries are next. You can kind of see that we are going green, red, green, red as far as layering things on the board. Well, okay, maybe not quite because it's sort of like red, red at the bottom, but you get the point. Also, we have an important part of uh, charcuterie making going on right now. Uh, Sherry and Auburn have a glass of wine mm -hmm. each. And now Sherry is putting on some grapes. Now it may be time for what may be the most Christmas inappropriate part of the charcuterie board. Eh, appropriate. It is the reindeer meat. So Rudolph sacrificed so that we could eat good. So I'm gonna cut those up and they're gonna go right over here above the grapes. Now it's time for one of the greatest things in God's earth, which Sherry absolutely hates. Ugh, look how gross they are, they're drippy. Ew. Olives are the best. And this is a Mediterranean olive blend. Look at how good that looks. Oh, I'm so happy you don't like olives because that just means more for us. And look at how good. Actually, I'm going to go over here. Look at how good this is looking. I should have gotten stuffed olives for this. Without a doubt, the best Christmas in July charcuterie tree board I've ever made or seen. <laughs> because it's the only one I've ever seen. <laughs> Sherry just added the roasted garlic up top there. So look at the layers. Now we're kind of starting to get to the point where we're trying to figure out 
how this ends. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some cheese stars. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have one cheese star at the top. You guys, I'm loving this. Next part of the charcuterie board is we are cutting out cheese stars. Mm -hmm. And look at how cute those are. Those actually turned out really good. So we're gonna do a bunch of small stars kind of as decoration over the tree and Sherry's doing one right now that is like the big star on top. You can see the stars on there. Sherry put the big star up top. All right, it's finished and it is more glorious than I possibly could have imagined. Look at this. So cute. It really turned out good. Sherry, you did such a good job. Thank you. Way better than I expected. I mean, not that I expected it to be terrible, but Ooh. this is really good. That, that is Desi. <laughs> that's Desi, in case you thought maybe we had a Christmas record playing in the background. <laughs> nope, that's just Desi. You guys, and I'm really proud of my meat roses. Well, I think the charcuterie board was a huge success because it got demolished, let me show you. The only thing left are a couple of peppers, a couple of cucumbers, a couple of the meat roses, everything else is gone. This was such a fun way to do a charcuterie board for Christmas in July. It would obviously be perfect for any Christmas holiday parties you guys might be doing. It's just a fun take on a charcuterie board. You guys know we love charcuteries. This one was really, really fun to do. So friends, happy Christmas in July. Merry Christmas in July. We are five months away from my favorite holiday in the entire world. And I wanna know down below, how long do you think it will be before Sherry lets me put up the Christmas tree? Do you think she will let me put up the tree in September, October, or November? That is what I wanna know. Uh, personally, well, I hope October, but I think early November is probably more realistic. So friends, thanks so much for watching this video. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life video.